What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so it is finally time. In the last episode, we went in through into the Slumbering Wheel, and we actually got ourselves the Rusted Sword and the Rusted Shield. That actually enables us to go right here back into Hammerlock, because apparently... Uh, Mac Macro Cosmo Rose is up to something. He's probably like he's plotting something and you know this actually postponed our little uh, tournament or our little Pokemon League play right here. So as you can see Ryan has been waiting for us and well he's like well if it isn't Draven and Hop it's a real shame the way things have turned out you make it all the way to the championship match then something like this has to happen. And Chairman Rose, thinking that the energy pouring from the darkest day would somehow be the key to saving Galar's future? It all seems a bit mad if you ask me. I can't follow at all how, how that's supposed to work. Well, hop right here in his caffeine ass saying, Well, I don't care if I'm up against the darkest day or the chairman or whatever. I'm going ahead. I'm off to help my brother. Yeah, you, good, good luck with that. Good, good luck with that. And he's gone. That hop never changes. Always in a rush about something, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he, he's always in a rush and, uh, yeah, really, really do not care. But anywho, Ryan's right here. He's like, the key thing is that no one's been, uh, been harmed. We gym leaders work together with the city's Pokemon, and we've got everybody evacuated. And you, you're fixing to help, the char the, to help our champion to save uh, everyone in the Gala region? Of course I am. That's why I, that's where I'm going right now. Our greatest ever champion and the greatest ever challenger, along with the fiercest rival. Okay, uh, he's not my fiercest rival. He's just the punching bag. All teaming up against the darkest day. I almost feel sorry for it. Go on then. Our great challenger into Hammerlock Stadium with you. Okay. Alrighty. So here it is, guys. We're going into this uh, this whole situation, and holy crud. It is a, a, a situation itself. Now, me, when I first played this game, I actually thought this was only a Pokemon gym. But then, after that little rumble that happened, and this door right here, I... Yeah. I, I, I started to question a lot of things. And, well, hello, hello there. Mm. Olina. Or Lorliana. Or I don't even know how to pronounce your name, but damn! Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Gym Challenger, you must help me. I, I mean, please help me. My Pokemon suddenly Dynamaxed for some reason and started running amok in the stadium. Ryan, I mean, Mr. Ryan was able to subdue the Dynamax Pokemon in the stadium, but... If other Pokemon also Dynamax and go on a rampage, the underground power plant would collapse. Mr. Rose is down there right now. I know this, this is selfish of me, but I must beg your assistance. I want you to head into the underground power plant and stop Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose has awakened a Pokemon known as Eternia or Eternatus. Eternatus. I pronounced that name wrong. Holy crud. Apparently, the energy emitted from its body is what causes Dynamaxy. You don't say. At this rate, all the Pokemon in the Gala region will Dynamax and go berserk. If that were to happen, please, you must save Mr. Rose. You can, you can take the lift over there to reach him. I've enlisted the help of our champion's younger brother, too, but he knows what's going on. Or, but who knows what's going on. Okay, time to clean up this mess. I will take care of you uh, later. Mm, let me just let me just look at her for a little bit, guys. Okay, going in there, saving Galar, because I am uh, I'm also a hero, you know. Super Saiyan, all that stuff, and hey, here we are into the energy plant. Now, this, this, this seems a little reminiscent of Pokemon X and Y. And holy crud. I think this is even better than X and Y. It just sounds so holy crap. Sinister. Now, before we do anything, I, I have a feeling this guy is going to try and challenge us. So let's go right ahead and put Baconator up, up front because uh, he is a Steel type Pokemon trainer. Let's go right ahead and see what Hop is uh, doing right here. Mr. Rose is looking also evil. And what do you plan on doing, Jim Challenger? I'm stopping the darkest day, homie. Uh, pardon? What are you talking about? 
There's nothing to stop now. We've already brought about the darkest day, or should I say, the ultimate Pokemon Eternatus. Must I explain myself? From your perspective, I suppose it must seem that I am doing something terrible. I don't expect you to understand. But I must provide the Gala region with limitless energy to ensure everlasting prosperity. It is my purpose, my duty, my destiny. That's why we've been giving the Wishing Stars to Eternatus. Surely you remember the red light that caused a ruckus around Hammerlock? That was all part of, the, uh, of our experiments to awaken Eternatus. You mustn't understand. I can't let you interfere with my plan to protect the future of Galar. Oh damn. Okay. So here it is, guys. Another battle, and it's... Whoa. Macrocosmos Rose. Let's go. You gotta love... You gotta love the theme song to this right here. So, of course, he is already evolving his Pokemon right here. And look at that. My communicator is ready to go. So here we go, going up against a Steel-type trainer. Might as well just destroy him with all Fire-type Pokemon right here. So let's go Baconator, Fire Flash attack, quadruple damage, because it's, uh, it's, Cav it's Cavalier is both a Steel and Bug-type Pokemon. Look at that, easy. You're pretty tough. Yes, entirely too tough, don't you think it's um, that's unfair? Nope. Kinda, maybe, because I may have overleveled my Pokemon. And, well, he's coming out with the next guy right here. So, I'm just gonna stick with Baconator. Alright, so here we go. Cling Clang, a Steel Tap Pokemon yet again. Let's go with the Fire Lash. And, well, a Wild Charge is gonna say something about that. But here we go with the Recoil. So, let's go with the Fire Lash for the win. Eat that, Cling Clang. What now? What now? Look at that. Another one right there. And Quackor the Foul grows to level 81. Of course, he's going to be coming out with a Berserker. Stay put with, yes, Baconator. I could go with the Baconator right now, but I just don't want to. So let's go right ahead. Fire Lash. And man, I am digging this bad guy music. I really am. Now, question is, is Mac Macro Cosmos Rose an actual bad guy? Like, is he really, really, really a bad guy? Because to me, it kind of sounds like... He kind of isn't. He's just misguided. And look at this. Ferrothorn. Easy Pokemon to defeat, of course. Steel and uh, Grass-type Pokemon. So there's a quadruple damage. Yes. Oh, my God. The Iron Barbs. Yeah, you can't stop that. You can't stop that. But it's whatever. So comment down below, guys, if you think that Macrocosmos Rose is a, uh, is a uh, bad guy. Now, here he comes out with his last Pokemon, Kaparaja. Uh-oh, down to my last Pokemon. This isn't looking good. Here it is. Kaparaja. And this is a Pokemon that will Dynamax. So let's go right ahead and just go with a Burn-Up. I don't need to Dynamax against this guy. I'll show you the move that hits hard. You'll be speechless. So here he is, returning his Pokemon and making this Pokemon a lot bigger. It's growing. 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 Too bad it's going to fade on the first turn. Look at this guy. A super strong Pokemon against my Baconator. That's right. I am feeling extremely uh, confident. And look at that. Just like that. <laughs> okay. So maybe I did overlevel my Pokemon. Maybe. Completely forgot that, yeah, the uh, next few challengers are not above level 60. Except for maybe, you know, the champion. But it's okay. It is okay. Look at that. He's not so happy. Hmm. And he's clapping for us. I've forgotten how great Pokemon battles are. It's been so long since I battled. That sure was satisfying. Uh, didn't we just beat you a while back? I don't know. And we get a lot of money from that. He's still clapping for us. But at, that isn't the end right here. Most impressive, Draven. I wouldn't expect any any less from a challenger endorsed by the strongest champion ever to grace our beloved Galar region. I really do wish I could have seen the championship match between you two, uh, be, between you two, and I'm terribly sorry to have ruined the whole gym challenge and everything. It's too bad, but it can't be helped. 
in order to solve the uh, energy issue as soon as possible. We awaken Eternatus, but we couldn't control it. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of abandoning, abandoning the match. Indeed, just like the knight, a knight in shining armor coming to rescue a princess from, the, from a dragon. I do tend to ramble on. I know I love to make speeches. But I think I can stop t talking now. I think the champion should have captured the Eternatus by now. If you're curious, you should take the lift up. And I trust you'll be going uh, too, right, Hop? I certainly hope losing to me didn't discourage you too much. <laughs> oh, man. Hop. Holy crap, man. You. Okay. I Okay. I'm just going to lay off him because, uh, wow. <laughs> Go on now, both of you. Go see how our champion is doing. Discouraged? You don't get you don't get it, do you, Chairman? Neither me or my Pokemon are anywhere near giving up. We've learned how to be strong thanks to the gym challenge you organized. Yeah, but this gym challenge cost you quite a few L's, right? <laughs> oh man, yes, my ho my my hate for Hop is palpable. Okay, so here's Hop, and he's gonna be like, "All right, Draven, I'm ready for anything. Are you?" Yeah, I'm ready. Wouldn't expect anything less from my rival. Now, come on. We've got to help Lee. Okay, so we're going up, and here it is, guys. We've been waiting for this moment for quite some time. Now, there is a little something I need to do right here. Just a little, little thing, okay? So, um, let's see. Actually, hold on. There is something I need to take care of. Just a little something. Now, I don't necessarily want like this kind of feels like I need to capture a Pokemon right here so what's going to happen is I'm gonna to have to switch out a Pokemon right here now I do have a lot of Pokemon over level 70 so we're going to bring out a few Pokemon in this situation right here now Dumbledore has done so well that I need to put him back for a little bit and I am going to yeah put Hydra in this situation right here. Why am I doing this? Well, my spidey senses are tingling right now, and I kind of feel as though we are probably going to be capturing a Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead and see what's going on. As you can see, holy crap. Eternatus. Looking like a complete badass. Holy crap. This this is something new right here, guys. You came to help me in spite of the danger? Thanks, Hop. You and Draven. You two are really growing tremendously. But no need for you to care for you kids to worry. It seems like some power uh, some power of Eternatus was keeping my team from Dynamaxing, but we've had a champion uh, we've had a champion time all the same. Charizard and the rest of my champion team members have uh, have really worn Eternatus down. Now, if I could simply catch it in a Pokeball, we should be able to get, uh, get this madness under control. Then everything will be back to normal. So watch this. It's going to be a real champion catch. The heck? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, why do you have to start off with champion every single time? Okay. Oh, wow. So that's what happens to Pokeballs. But no dice. Oh, damn. Okay. So here it is, guys. We are going to be taking on Eternatus. And it's not just a... Uh, yeah, it... Yeah, this this is gonna be a uh, this is gonna be a crazy one right here. So here it is, Eternatus, the level 60 Dragon type Pokemon right here. Now the only reason to why I brought Leah here is so I can try and par uh, paralyze Eternatus. But unfortunately, this Pokemon right here is uh, yeah, it does add to my Leah. Now that can't be super effective. No paralysis. So the next thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to switch it out to Hydra right here. Come on. Now, 
I don't get it. I really don't get it. Where does Eternatus, uh, like, they should have said something about Eternatus from the get-go, not just late at, that, that's just one of my gripes right there. Now, so late into this game, Eternatus comes, but it is okay. Let's go right ahead and use a bite attack. Now, I do feel like Eternatus is a, oh, it's a poison type Pokemon. I completely forgot about that, so let's go bite attack. Now, the goal is to try and weaken this Pokemon right here now. Let's go with another bite attack. Dragon Pulse. Now this guy right here is a little, yeah, he's a fast Pokemon, and look at that, he's just destroying my Hydra right here. So here we go, another Bite Attack. Hopefully this one right here will actually weaken him some more. So here comes its specialty move, Dynamax Cannon. Holy crap! That looked like it took my Hydra's soul to the Shadow Realm, but no dice right there too, and I. I kind of feel like that should be a rechargeable one. Is it a rechargeable? No, it's a cross poison right here. And, well, we are now poisoned. That right there could be bad. So let's go again with one more bite attack. And that right there brings Eternatus down to red. But Hydra has already uh, succumbed to the whole poisoning right there. So the next Pokemon coming in. Let's go. You know what, let's go with Aaliyah. I have a feeling that this Pokemon is going to use another Cross Poison. It is a physical attack. And let's go right ahead and use, let's see, what kind of a Pokeball could we use? Can't be, oh, uh, let's go with an Ultra Ball. And you can't throw an Ultra Ball at this guy. So what we have to do is we actually have to battle this Pokemon. And unfortunately for us, there goes Aaliyah. Yeah, my niece is not going to be happy about this right here, so... Ugh, okay. Never mind. Let's go straight for... Uh, let's go with uh, Optimus Prime right here. Now, it is at level 80. It is a little... Uh, hopefully, it is a little faster than this Pokemon right here. So, here we go. Let's go with... Oh, damn. Let's go with the Boom Burst. Are we faster? No, we are not. We are going to take this Dragon Pulse right here, and that right there takes a huge chunk out of my HP. But here comes the Boom Burst, and the Boom Burst does it. Now, just when you think you made this Pokemon faint, something else happens. Oh, damn. Holy crap. Now this, this right here is something pretty legit. Oh, wow. So here it is, an Eternatus has appeared, and it is a Dynamax Pokemon. Now, the only thing is that there's wrong is the fact that, yeah, we can't Dynamax, and it's between us and, well, it's between us and Hop. So what I have to do is I got to switch it out to Hydra right here since it does no Ice Beam attack. So here it is, we're switching it out. And wow, we, we, oh wow, this is a hellish event right here. Holy crud. I never thought I would be in a legendary Pokemon like this, or a legendary event right here. And we can't use any moves. So we got to use our Ice Beam right here. And here we go. It's storing energy. And I forgot we found the Sword and Shield of Slumbery Wheel. So what's going to happen right now is that, well, we're going to continue lagging off right, right here. And yes, Draven, use the sword. It might, it might be old and trusted, but there's a, got to be some use for it. Got it.
Okay, so... Bam! Look at that. We are being defended by the legendary Pokemon themselves in both versions. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh, holy crap, this is so badass. Oh my god. So here it is. Uh, <laughs> wow. This, this, is, this is spectacular right here, guys, because we are now able to actually battle Eternatus. And the two legendary Pokemon you see beside us right here are are going to help us out right now. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, I did put into both cut screen right here to show the differences. Of obviously, the Pokemon that is a Pokemon Shield a Sword will be with us as the Pokemon in, in Shield. Well, you guys already know what I'm talking about. It's vice versa. Rolls are reversed. Now, the thing is, I gotta switch my Pokemon out yet again because I cannot risk Aaliyah being in this. So, Aaliyah, come back. And here we have Hydra while everybody else is ready to battle. So, I'm skipping my turn right here. And we are intimidating this Pokemon. And, well, Zacian is using Howl. Growing everybody's uh, attack right here. This is good. Look at that. Do not know why it would help Hop because you know Hop is Hop, whatever. So Zemazenta using Light Screen. So now we are protected. So these guys are protecting us and increasing us. But here comes a uh, huge attack on us. That right there hurts us. Now I know what you're saying. We we can always Dynamax. The thing is, this Pokemon is the cost why we cannot Dynamax. And as you can see, Eternatus is a is a strong Pokemon. And he's like, hey. Looks like we can use our moves now! Thanks to Zacian and Zemazana! Alrighty. Time to use the Ice Beam. Let's go. Time to be the hero right here. So here comes a Behemoth Blade. Look at that! Holy crud! Behemoth Blade hits him hard. Oh wow, that's a, that's a, that's a move right there. Now here comes Amazana's Behemoth Bash. And look at this. The shield is only growing bigger. Say goodbye. Bam. Look at that. Holy crud. These these legendary Pokemon are, <laughs> are legit. And here comes a Max Flare. That is super powerful against Zamazetta right here. Or Zamazetta or whatever his name is. And, well, look at this. We turned harsh on our thing. So here comes an Ice Beam. And that barely, yeah, it barely deads to turn this right here. So here comes a Double Edge. And barely does anything. Okay, so let's go right ahead. Screw it! Hyper Beam! You only live once right here. So here comes a Behemoth Blade yet again from the legendary Pokemon himself. And well, look at this. Cut him like a freaking. Oh my god. Cut him like a. I don't even know what kind of food I want to say. A sandwich or something. I don't even know, guys. <laughs> I'm just really amazed at this Pokemon battle right here. This is a. Uh, this right here is pretty legit. And, well, Eternatus is barely surviving right here. Alright. Max Wormwind? Wormwind? I think that's what it's called. And there goes Double. <laughs> Suck it. Okay, so, yeah, the attack has fallen. This is another reason to why our Pokemon are not scratching these guys. And that Hyper Beam barely does anything. So now we can't do anything at all. And here comes his Snorlax. So now I gotta recharge. Here comes the Behemoth Bleed or Behem a Behemoth Blade. Look at this. Slice him and dice him. Oh my god, Eternatus is almost going to faint right here. And it looks like. Damn, it looks like Hop is going to get that turn to actually beat this guy, probably. So here comes Behemoth Buster or whatever it is. And look at that. Almost done. What the hell is it doing? Holy crap. Okay, so that right there nullified any abilities. 
And here comes a Max Wormwind. It's Hydra like that. Holy crud, okay. Alrighty, we can do this. We can do this. Our tech has, yeah, our tech has gone down and here comes a high horsepower. Does it do anything to Eternatus? All right. Time to finish it. Okay, so let's see. Here's a Howl attack. Yeah, they're gonna give me the, uh, the honors, right? Hopefully, let's get these honors right here. All right, everybody's attack is going up, including the legendary Pokemon themselves, and look at this. All right, here comes a Crunch attack. Weaken him, uh, this Pokemon right here. Here comes a Max Ooze. Holy crud, don't faint. Jeebus, okay, so this one right here will increase the special attack for Eternatus. Here comes Ice Beam for the win. Eat it, Eternatus. And just like that, This is it! Draven, hurry up and capture Eternatus! Okay, so here we are, gonna capture this Pokemon. Let's go with an Ultra Ball right here. All right, Ultra Ball. Become big. Come to butthead. Look at that. Wow. Will it? Can it? Holy crap! Bam! Wow! Two! Come on, stay in that ball! Three! And that's how you do it, guys. Throwing out that peace sign. What now? Okay, why are you showing him? He didn't capture the ball, or the Pokemon. And just like that... The Darkest Days is over. And... <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's all I got to say right there, guys. Holy crap. Well, look at that. We're back in Winden. And three days later. Three days later. Holy crud. Okay. Let's see what's uh, happening to good old Draven right here. As, as you can see, he's coming out of a massage and all that stuff. And yes. Oh, yeah. I am ready to kick some ass right here. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's a good looking man right there. So, Chairman Rose turned himself in then. Never thought I'd live to see the day. He awoke Eternatus and nearly caused a cat uh, catastrophe for the whole region. You reap what you sow, I say. Okay, alrighty. And, well, of course, you know, Hop has to always be in the cutscene and all that stuff. I don't know about you, but I slept like the dead. Everyone's still talking about what happened, but at least things are back to normal now. We really did defeat Eternatus uh, together with Zama Zamazenta and Zassian. And still Lee's, well, he's being Lee, insisting on having a championship match with you today. It's a bit much, isn't it? Nope. You sure you're up for it? Fuck yeah. I'm not even too sure about him. He was out cold uh, and hurt pretty badly himself during all this mess. I do understand how it feels, though. Feels like I've been waiting forever to get to see you, uh, you and him face off in a serious match. So come on, the match, the match will be at Wyndham Stadium. Where else? Okay, alrighty. Whew. Okay, so uh, look at that, guys. A legendary battling that I, I gotta say right here, right now, that was probably one of the best legendary uh, battles I've ever seen. You know, events and all that stuff when, in the history of Pokemon. And I mean, we've had the remakes and all that crud. Now, I kind of want to show you something. Now that we're in this whole situation. First is first, let's put on the regular Pokemon back, including you, yes, Dumbledore coming back. And let's go ahead and take a look at the Pokemon called Eternatus right here. Now this is a pretty, this is a, a unique Pokemon. This guy right here is both a poison and dragon type Pokemon and it is a tank when it comes to special attack. And no wonder it's been, it's been, you know, kicking our butts in the speed level because yeah. 
yeah, but let's go ahead and take a look at the summary right here. So here it is, Eternatus, the Poison and Dragon type Pokemon. Yeah, it's got some pretty good, uh, pretty good stats right here. Not, not very, well, not really good at the physical part, but yet it still will hurt you in some way or another. And well, its attack right here, it, its attacks are pretty good right here too. Uh, po uh, cross poison, of course, as you can see, it just it poisoned my Pokemon, literally poisoned them. Has Dynamax Cannon as its uh, specialty move and Flamethrower. Now, I do want to check out that Pokédex uh, entry right here. It's going to be pretty good. Pretty awesome right here. So let's go with the Pokédex entry. And let's see. Let's go ahead and go all the way down. Actually, this is by ABC Order. I don't know why I did that. So let's see. Eternatus. There it is. There you are. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. Eternatus, the gigantic Pokémon. It is 65 feet. Holy crap, 2,094 pounds of pure. I don't know what the hell that is, so I'm just going to call it Exoskeleton. The core on its chest absorbs energy emanating from the lands of the Gala region. This energy is is what allows Eternatus to stay alive. Hmm. You yeah, don't say, look at that. It's all, look at that. Just kind of like Poke Pokedex 3D, which I will finish someday. I don't know. But look at that. Now... I don't know guys this this is pretty this is pretty intense the whole thing was pretty intense and well it is finally time guys to go and take on the final uh, the final final challenger in the Pokemon League which is the champion Leon so that will be for the next episode stay tuned guys you do not want to miss this thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next time